Talking Planning presents Bus Week 2. Hello and welcome to Bus Week 2. After the successes of the last Bus Week campaign, I decided it was a great time to do it all again. So the last Bus Week series had over a thousand video views and I'm extremely happy you all enjoyed it. So I get the impression that network planners are often removed from that fleet procurement process, so I like to go and explore the nitty gritty of vehicle quality to see if they complement the network design. A good transport network requires well-designed services, quality public transport vehicles, and good connections to key activity centres. That's why I combine my knowledge of public transport vehicles with planning to provide an informed opinion on good and bad outcomes. We start Bus Week 2 by reviewing the latest buses at Hornybrook Bus Lines, their Scania K320UBs with Volga and Optimus bodywork. So I'm not a brand snob who only advocates for one chassis manufacturer or coach builder, which is important to avoiding arguments. To me, good transport fleets avoid a one-size-fits-all approach and tailor their vehicles to suit their fleet needs. Hornybrook bus lines operate many types of services, from community runs like the 311 and 312, through to high patronage services like the 680, 690 and 691. Each of those services has different needs. The standard 12.5 metre bus is their bread and butter, but they do have a few three axle buses for the 691 service. These Scania K320s are a standard length vehicle with 45 seats and standing space, and they provide adequate handrails finished in polished stainless steel. You'll also find plenty of stop bells, a loud chime, comfortable bench seats trimmed in a red cloth. These seat backs and the walls are also finished in this anti-graffiti treatment, which reduces paint and pens from sticking. Overall, it creates a nice, if slightly dark interior, but the Optimus's LED lights provide better lighting at night. Further, these buses keep up with traffic easily. Scania serves up a 9 litre turbo diesel offering 320 horsepower and 1600 newton metres of torque, which is very strong for a rigid route bus. So let's have a listen now. One other thing I noticed whilst on board is that near the flip up seats, there's a wheelchair restraint device which offers additional safety. This is slowly becoming more common on route service buses, but I haven't seen them on any buses operated by Brisbane Transport. Overall, I quite like the Hornybrook Scania K320s with Volga and Optimus bodywork. They are comfortable and modern with a nice looking interior, although they do lack some of the features that some really new buses offer like USB charging and additional stop bells on the window pillars. Apart from these minor little ergonomic issues, I reckon they're a really nice bus and well suited to some of the longer services that Hornybrook operate, particularly the 680 and 690. Thank you for joining me on Talking Planning and make sure to tune into Bus Week tomorrow for another unique Queensland bus.